What's up guys, so today I'm sick, but I really wanted to make this French slang video because a lot of you have asked for it. And I love making what you guys want because making you happy makes me happy. And when we're all happy, we're all happy. I'm not sure where I was going with that. So to provide you with the best possible slang, I made some research. I actually even hired a detective. Okay, he offered to help me after asking for this video. But that's almost the same, right? So thanks to Emilio, here's the most common French slang. Or at least the ones that I know. And use. Sometimes. I hope you'll enjoy. Number one, wesh gros. So this expression is composed from the two words wesh and gros. Yeah, you probably already guessed that. But what you might not know is that wesh comes from the Arabic term wesh rak. Wesh rak. Rak. Yeah, I have no clue how to pronounce it. There it means how are you? And we French stole it because... Because... Uh, anyway, for us it means hello, hey, wesh. Not to be confused with the wesh wesh, who are the people who use the term wesh? The second one, gros, designates a fat person, if it was literally translated, but it's not because French is not easy. What did you expect? So here, gros designates a person more or less known from you. And when I say you, I mean if you're the one saying the sentence, not in absolute value, because if I'm the one saying wesh gros to someone that you know, it doesn't make sense, unless I know him too. And then, the world is so small, isn't it? All that to say that wesh gros could be translated into hey man. Number two, je suis vénère or je suis vénère. Être vénère is another way to express the fact that you're annoyed or angry. How did we come up with that? Well, it's supposed to be the word being angry, être énervé, in verlan, which is supposed to be in reverse. But it doesn't make sense! Because if it was real verlan, it should have been évrène, not vénère. And even verlan should have been frevne, not verlan. There is no behind that <clears throat> anyway let's return to it no actually I can't I mean even if you accept the fact that Verlo is the right thing it should be VNR not VNR and even if you accept that VNR already exists as a word it means to worship someone how could we you know what I give up so je suis vénère means being angry et je suis vénère putain Number three, je m'en balek. As French is a delicate and soft language, we do have artistic slang too. And je m'en balek is one of the pinnacle of this delicacy that is French language. Je m'en balek is the best, and I would even say the most poetic way to say that you don't give a damn about something. And if you were to literally translate it, it would mean I slap my balls with what you're saying. Poetic, just like I said. Number four, sabeni. So this can be used as a question or as an answer. Sabeni, sabeni. This could be literally translated into he baths, he baths. But the true meaning of it is he baths, he baths. However, it might also say, how are you? I'm good. Logic! Well, actually, this time there is some logic, because this expression comes from the fact that when something baths in oil, and especially potatoes, it's freaking amazing! Thus, asking if it baths means, is it amazing? Which can be understood as, how are you? Boom! Etymology! And finally, number five, c'est chamé. Oh, not again. Chamé just like vénère, and I'm already starting to get évren and not vénère about this total absence of logic in the French language, is the verb of méchant, which means it's mean, it's bad. But thanks to our almighty logic, something that is bad is something that is good. What? Because when we're saying from something that it's chamé, it means that it's awesome, it means that it's cool. But think about it. Technically, there's some logic behind it. Chamé is meant to be the reverse of méchant. What's reverse is sometimes the opposite. In that, Chomé might be the opposite of Michel. Logic, right? Ah! And this is the end of the most common French slang, probably part one. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to put a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to my channel, go follow me on all my social media, support me on Patreon. I'm honestly too tired to come up with a good reason, but please do it. Have an amazing summer full day, and no matter what happens, I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to smile, and bye-bye! Now I'm gonna go back to sleep because I used way too much energy to do this video. I love you guys, and good night.